The art of poi has been practiced by the Maori of New Zealand for hundreds of years. It has also spread across the globe, and many different styles of poi, or swinging a weight on the end of a cord, are seen all over the world. The crazy thing is, with all these people playing poi, there's never been any scientific research to explore its potential benefits on health. That's where I come in. Two years ago, I moved to New Zealand to conduct the first scientific study on poi, an art form I was introduced to over a decade ago and have been absolutely in love with ever since. I wanted to find out if poi might have an effect on physical and cognitive function, specifically in older adults, as we're living longer than ever before and simple and effective strategies for maintaining quality of life in old age are urgently needed. I recruited 80 participants from across Auckland and put their bodies and minds to the test, measuring things like balance, reaction time, upper limb range of motion, and bimanual coordination. After establishing baseline measurements, it was finally time to play. Participants were randomly assigned to practice poi or tai chi twice a week for one month, tai chi being my control group. After the lessons were over, they went back to the clinics and repeated the same physical and cognitive tests. When comparing the baseline measurements to the data collected just after the lessons, some really exciting and statistically significant results emerged. Participants in both groups improved their balance, their grip strength, their memory, and their attention. The Tai Chi group also dropped their blood pressure. These are super exciting results, especially when thinking about quality of life, as they cover some of the hallmarks of frailty. So what's next? It's time to spread the word. She's on our shores to test whether swinging poi uh, can make the elderly smarter and healthier. Hey, hua whai ora la pea oro toi te mahi poi e ai ki ngā ki te ngai te tahi ranga hau hou. It's a graceful element of Māori culture, but it seems performing with poi could also be good for you. Clinical trials involving a group of... And this is only the beginning. I hope this study will pave the way for future poi and health research and shed new light on one of New Zealand's own tanga. Whether you're 9 or 99, we're all growing older. And for the first time in history, older adults are going to outnumber youth. It's time to put a new spin on aging and for the world to follow New Zealand back to the practice of poi and forward to a healthier future.